What's up, you guys? It's Sugar Brianna. But once again, with another video. So right now, I just woke up from a nap, honestly, because I was just tired of everything that was going. I just put it like this. I was just tired of everything that was going on at the house. So basically, I just fell asleep. So I'm not here on the front porch right now, or on the side porch right now. And as you can see, I have um, I don't know if you can start to but like my coloring on my skin is just colored rather than like a hand project. So basically, what had happened was I had to talk fast too. So basically, there's something that has to be done about this. Where I live at, the cops literally never come out here, never. So ever since we moved in, the cops only be coming out here after me or after them. So basically, what happened was is that basically we got into an altercation as normal families or whatever, but it wasn't normal family because he shouldn't have never put his hands on me. He put his hands on me first, and I have the video too, so I will insert it right here. And anyways, um, like I was saying was like. Y'all see what happened. If he was never guilty, if he, if I put my hands on him first, he would not say put the camera up. He got pissed off at me because I had the camera out. Or I had my phone out. And then he pushed me. And I have a metal bed frame, so it really did hurt. And I have like a scratch right here too, but I can't show y'all. Because indecent exposure or whatever. But anyways, in the process of that, he, inde he exposed himself to me. On accident, I guess. And basically, yeah. So, and basically, nobody got in trouble because no killing the rules suck. And they don't know how to tell who's lying and who's not. Even though I had a freaking video and told everything. Um, so, yeah. That's what happened. Um, hit my face. Ch choked me out. He had his hands around my neck. Like this. And just pushing me backwards by my neck. And then he actually touched me me like this and push me back as well and then basically as soon as he got me on bed he literally tripped over my laundry basket the laundry basket moved he literally tripped over my laundry basket and broke six presents broke six presents of my, that was underneath my christmas tree and he fell into my christmas tree that's when he um exposed himself to me and i just walked out of the room because i was just disgusting at that point like, i'm like traumatized at this point so i just walk out and then whenever he gets up, he's like, go call the cops, stab the other thing, like, but you just said that I touched you first, like, who's going to sit here and call the cops? Like, I called the cops, though, because I felt threatened, I felt like my life was in danger, I felt like it wasn't right, you know, something was off. I mean, obviously it was, because he shouldn't have put his fucking hands around my neck, but, um, and he tried this once before, too, whenever I was living at the apartments, he tried actually put in because I'm not his biological child I'm his adopted daughter and I hate to say that but that's true and then basically um yeah so that's what happened and at the apartment like okay so this is the door this is me this is him he's on the outside of the door on like behind the door he literally pushes the door on me and just keeps on pushing me until I start screaming bloody murder for my mom to come help me and then my mom pulls him out off the door he was trying to kill me then I had no idea because I was only like 11 or 12 I'm 16 now but I was only like 11 or 12 so I didn't have that mindset I was a good child so yeah that's another attempted murder on me like him trying to attempt murder on me so hey guys um so today we're going to be building a gingerbread house and stuff so that was like a little story time or whatever but they keep on coming so they are coming but yeah guys, this is the outside of New York. You can make no man. And anyways guys, um uh, I really wanna build the ginger brass, but they keep on telling me no. I really wanna build it. I don't want them to help me build it at all. I'm sixteen years so old, I should be able to build a ginger brass, but they want it to be as a family project. So, you know, me trying to obey that, it's fine. But them trying to push me to obey that is another thing. And the cop 
said that they, um, he could tell that they were very controlling and manipulative over me, and I shouldn't let them do that to me. I should take control of my own mind and control my own ways, and you know. So I'm gonna try doing that. Not that I was already trying to do that, but you know. Oh, uh, so yeah, this mail's about to come. So yeah, I love you. Please, please give me a business up. If you like the story time, if you want more story times about what happened like, in depth, in depth. Like with actual like images and stuff like right afterwards and like what I can actually put my friend on here and tell her side of the story because she was on the phone with me whenever the police was in my room talking to me. So yeah. I'll let my memories and I will see you in the next year. Peace.